Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image.com, continuing on with the discussion, the coverage of um, the Nikon full frame mirrorless cameras. I'm super pumped about these. I don't think I've been as, as excited about a camera in a long, long time. Maybe never. I don't know why. This, these ones just really, I think the anticipation is huge and we know there's high stakes. Nikon really has to hit this out of the park when they announce these because any perceived failings here could really, really put a nail in the coffin on Nikon as far as they, this, this is a success they need. Um, they've had some rocky financials over the last year or two, and um, this this is a success they really need. Obviously, the D850 was a huge success, but we need a couple more big successes. And if they come out hard on mirrorless, it's going to put them heavily into the competition, especially against Sony. Um, could leapfrog them above everybody. They could be more desirable than Sony and Canon. And wouldn't that be a great position for Nikon? Also a great position for us because then Canon and Sony have to catch up and then we just get better products and better products and better products. One of the things um, I've been reading online that I kind of glossed over, I haven't really d discussed so far, is I have been, been talking about the importance of these new full-frame mirrorless from Nikon having something equivalent to Canon's dual-pixel AF or Sony's. Uh, and I'm not even sure what Sony's actual name for it is, but I mean, arguably Sony's as good or better now than Canon on that with the a7R 3 and the a7 III. Very, very good ability to follow focus in video and live view smoothly and accurately. Very, very good. Um, one of the things that we're seeing, Nikon Rumors has reported it, various other sites has reported it, uh, the AF tracking ability of at least the high-end one, the 45 megapixel mirrorless, um, is gonna be on par with current Sony A7 models. This is very, very encouraging and is basically confirming what I've been saying for a while now, that I'm, I'm confident Nikon would not have come out with these cameras um, and not had a solution to this. I think they knew this was something that they were behind on. I think they've been R&Ding the heck out of it and I think they're gonna nail it and basically, you know, this is some, you know, where, there, where there's smoke, there's fire, and we've got enough people indicating this, like on rumors and other sites, um, that it's going to be on par with the A7. And I suspect the 24 megapixel one will be as well. It might not not just have as many tweaks, but I think you're going to see a very competent dual pixel AF type system, and that's what um, these types of um, leaks or rumors or whatnot seem to be confirming. Um, and I, I really had no doubt that Nikon was going to do this. Uh, it just, it's, it would be insane for them not to have addressed this and then come out with their mirrorless because this is a huge thing that people like in the Sonys. They like in the Canons and then for Nikon to introduce their mirrorless and not be competitive in that arena. In fact, I mean, the Sony, the Sony a7 III and the Sony a7R III are very, very good at this. So if they're on par with them, fantastic. Maybe they're going to be better though. Could, could you believe it? That, that could be, uh, like Nikon. Nikon's, they've done some amazing things. Been very innovative over the years. Companies take terms leapfrogging each other in tech advances. And it's entirely possible Nikon could lead the pack in every way, at least for a while, with these two new cameras. What do you guys think? Do you think that this kind of quasi-confirmation, these rumors and leaks and whatnot, that, that, that the AF system is on par with A7, do you think it's going to be true? Um, do you, can, you, can you not believe it? Do you think the Nikon's not going to be able to hit a dual pixel AF type system? I don't, as I said. I'm sure of it. But I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know in the comments below. And actually, I'm just curious too. How important is it to you? Is that ability to have something as good as an A7's dual pixel AF type autofocus or Canon's dual pixel AF? Is that a deal killer for you? It certainly is for me and for a lot of people. But I'm curious just to hear how many of you folks that is a problem for. And I'm curious to hear from those of you where it's not something that you even care about and you'd still buy the mirrorless even if it wasn't, you know, a big, if, if it wasn't on par. Let me know in the comments below. Love to hear your thoughts on this. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We will be back with more on um, the Nikon full frame mirrorless as we continue to hear new rumors and leaks and we just are discussing it because, uh, hey, if you're like me and I know a lot of you are, you're super pumped and excited to, uh, to see these things when they come out. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.